So, assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. I am Shahar Rostamov, and today we're going to talk about your design project one from Creative Engineering Design course. And uh, <clears throat> first of all, I want to talk about the main goal of the Creative Engineering Design course. So, this course is for um, developing a design of the product maybe a software application, maybe some physical product, it doesn't matter. So all you need to do is you need to start from zero, from customer research, and at the end you will have the product itself, or some sketches and designs of this. So mainly you will design a product, okay? Now let's talk about your design project one, and what you need to do here. First, you need to organize a team and you need to choose a product to develop so after you've chosen the product and um, organizing a team it's a team leader's responsibility to create a really good gain chart for the group so the question lies what is a gain chart so let me show in previous years we have developed an app uh, online taxi booking service called a taxi me if I'm not mistaken, you have familiar with it because um, Professor Abdullah sent this uh, presentation with Google Drive in your group project. If you if you saw it, if you watch it, then um, what is the Gantt chart? Okay, Gantt chart is this. So Gantt chart is a table that consists of the plans of your group. For example, this is the Gantt chart. Um, created by me it starts from February 20 and ends with March 6 so within the 16 days maybe okay, 8 plus 6 within 14 days we have developed a product so for example in February 20 we have so there is choosing plans of the group and setting basic rules identifying the product that will be represented and this day identifying key customer needs and available problems doing some research and February 22 there is nothing because I I created this game chart based on our timetable if there is lots of lessons at this uh, in this day I didn't put any um, meetings here so now here you can see there is meetings so it's up to you and it's completely up to you how to design your game chart the most important thing and the meaning of the game chart is to plan out what things you will do in a particular day. So if everything goes as a plan, and March 6, we will submit and present our group project one. Okay, so this is the game chart. So after game chart, customer research will start. So customer research. How can you do a customer research? Uh, everything starts from some need. Okay, uh, for example, I need a calculator for what? Because I have necessity to do calculations. When it comes to bigger numbers, it may be hard for me to do ca some calculations. Huh? And what is the features of calculator right now? It's not only calculator, but sometimes it can save some data and any other many options it can contain so we have some need for calculator and inventors created this calculator in this case also you need to first identify the need and after you find some needs so you need to some research about the customers okay so how can you do a customer research you can do face-to-face -face interviews like outside of your university home etc you can just hey guys please stop you will ask some direct questions from passengers, passing by. Can you can I ask some questions about my product? For example, in our case, it was Taximu, which is online taxi booking application. We asked several questions to them. So let me show you. Here is the customer research done by us. So of course, this is a Google survey. It's a Google form. They have filled it. We have asked the questions, do you think booking taxi online is convenient? Have you ever faced any problems while booking taxi online? 
Do you want to see driver's profile before booking taxi and accept it once you're satisfied with it? Do you want to have an opportunity to talk to the driver? So it's up to you how many questions you will add here. But the key is you will not make uh, more or exhausted from your tired from your uh, questions. Passenger, okay? So passenger should not bored. Be bored. So and at the end we ask it if you have any suggestions to improve online taxi booking service write them down here we really appreciate it. and we sh okay um and this is the customer interior results i mean in passengers we have one two three six passengers we have we have talked with six passengers and these are the list of the questions we ask it so it's up to you how many questions and what kind of questions you will add in your customer search by the main objective is to to being familiar with the interest of the your customers or your uh, market or target market of course they are the persons who will buy your product okay so this is the first type of customer research and the second one is in location research in location research is a really good approach to do it for example um, if in our case we are developing a taxi booking app uh, application the best what are the best places that we can go it can be bazaars metro stations bus stations because in that places people really uh, feel some necessity to the transportation and we we went these places so you mean I mean like you need to go to place where your product is highly valuable okay and the third type is online surveys like Google Forms, you, you're gonna create a Google form and ask for friends, family, relatives, uh, and others to, to fill it. So your goal here is to identify existing problems and customer needs. Try to know what they want from your servers, okay? So, and in this year, you need to create personas and storyboards this year. Storyboard is a story that describes existing problem in the easy way using some personas create a personas and interesting story to tell it should cover why your product is necessary to people okay so let's watch our storyboard from the last year of course it was not necessary to create this kind of a videos but it is highly valuable if you do it and this year Sarwar Abdullayev I'm gonna show you Sarwar Abdullayev um, Add this this kind of appendix at the end, and here is your uh, storyboard scene, like scene number, short number, and you need to create some personas like Alisher Akmal. So everything here is editable. Check your e-class. There is a special word document that you need to write down the um, details here, and this is the storyboard like Figma and. It's up to you how, what kind of storyboard template you are using. Like just go to FigJam and search storyboard and get this kind of uh, shapes or some some templates and just fill it with words. I, I do not encourage you to create this kind of videos, but we did it in, in the last year. So let's watch it. So this this was the storyboard. So storyboard is something like this, as I said. So you need to create this kind of a storyboards. So then, then you need to analyze your customer research. You need to you need to formulate your problem statement based on customer needs. Make a list of benefits from your product. 
um, identify the list of exact problems that will be solved by your app and make a final list of functions that your program really have okay so now let me show you our um, problem statement and other things here so first of all we start with the goal okay so the goal of taxi what is the goal of our application it uh, the goal of our application is to get a customers where they want to go when they want to go promptly efficiently comfortably and safely and our main goal is to make the wave of, uh, of the application in such a way that it has a simple clear and practical interface that makes life easier for users and what uh, and problem statements so like it can be time consuming to go to the main road and pick up a taxi so not safe like mother of a child cannot track her kit and can become worried the left items can be gone forever explaining directions negotiating price so we are comparing our product with a traditional way of booking taxi like paputni taxi you will just go to the street and okay using your hands shake hands and taxi driver will stop and say hey bro where do you want to go you said this place like square he'll say 5,000 zooms, you'll say no, 3,000 zooms, no, 5,000 zooms, he'll say again, okay, deal, let's go there, and he will take your, um, and he will take you from the place and bring you to a square, and he will get 5,000 zooms from you, so this is a traditional taxi, okay, uh, and we are comparing with this one and want to change the market, what kind of benefits our taxi may have, like road is shown, Driver comes to your exact location, you know price, time to get your location, you can choose the category of a car, like different payment options, safe delivery, so these are the benefits. And the typical use case of taxi missile. You also create this kind of a typical use case when your program, your application uh, can be beneficial, can be useful, okay? When they are in hurry, bad weather conditions, when there are no taxi around, don't rely on traditional taxi dedicated time to reach location, online payment, and that's it. And so we are done um, some benefits, we are done with use cases, uh, we have formulated, and by the way, problem statement, like there should be this kind of a file. These are the problem statements of our taxi me like people every day face the problem of moving from pay point A to point B. It can be time consuming, not safe, left items, and problem saving. You have just seen in the benefits. So, okay, I, I've shown it, yeah. So, the next, and uh, make a final list of functions. So, in order to do make a list of functions, first of all, we have conducted we have conducted a session, online session in, in Fake Jam, and we did brainstorm. So what is brainstorm? Brainstorm is just writing down any ideas come to your mind. We were six people and all of us wrote our ideas, our list of functions in this fiction file. Like everyone write everything here and we picked and we chose uh, the best ones. I mean, test the best functions. And now I'm going to show you the final list of functions of our application. Um, here is it, final list of functions. So, available functions, like final list of functions, availability to share music playlist, adding group account, selecting car model, selecting car characteristics, availability to bring your pet, availability to see driver's profile, and last feedbacks, and uh, reservation, like you can book taxi beforehand. If you want to go to university at 9 o'clock, you can reserve. Uh, book beforehand taxi at 8 o'clock for example yeah and taxi gonna arrive at 9 so discounts for being late or bonuses avail availability of calling for trucks like delivery or heavy objects multiple payment options availability of interacting with the driver availability of cargo so you can see there is only 12 um, functions here I mean fi in the final list but in brainstorming page you can see there are lots I mean more than 12 so we have kicked some of the unnecessary functions that we found unnecessary here. And then, so let me go through again. 
make a list of functions. So we did a list of functions, final list of functions. Now we have, and so it comes to quality function deployment then quality function deployment and research in market. So develop a quality function deployment metrics of your product. So what is the QFT for? First of all, QFT is a table that indicates which functions of your product is much more important. And you need to make some comparisons with your competitors in the target market, okay? Now I'm going to show what is QFT and how you will do a QFT. So in the design project appendix, there is a there is this QFD. Yeah. I have shared these files with Google Drive, like here. Now, I mean, this folder. This is the all of our Project One folder last year with my group. So I shared this Project One, Project One uh, zip file with Google, uh, Google Drive. I, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna put the link at the video description. Okay, just found it. Now I wanna open my QFT. Where is it? Here it is. So this is a quality function deployment of Taximi by me it was 25th of February last year. So in a QFD, now see there is functional requirements row. And there is a column called customer requirements. So this is so house. This is what's here is written. That is house. There is what's. You need to find a correlation between this and this. Okay, I mean this and this. They are intersect in this point. Yeah, availability of pets for pets. Have any kind of a correlation with reservation? No. But for example, discount has a correlation with bonus, or calling and texting to driver is really um, has a good correlation with chat with driver. It's a strong correlation. Okay. If there is a strong correlation, I put nine, like it's strong. And four moderate, one is weak, and white is none. So it's just none. And here is you need to put some customer importance ratings for your customer requirements. These are the requirements by customers, and these are the functions that solve these customer requirements. Okay, guys, you need to think about it in your app also. So put it's all customer importance, like pets is not so much importance. Yeah? One is low, five is high here. Additional locations, like there's a good um, importance, like five is high here, I mean, in this col column. Then, how, and you need to um, calculate technical importance score, like what is technical importance score? It is this multiplied by this, and this multiplied by this, and the sum of them. Now, if I double double click, now you can see my formula. My formula multiplies every single cell in this column with every single um, cell in this column. Like it multiplies this by this, this by this. So as you said, there is zero, so their sum also zero. But if there is nine, so nine times five is forty-five. Four times five is twenty. So if you if you got the sum of them, it is it will be um, sixty five. And others also. And there is importance in percentage. So I I found the sum of them and divided by this. So what is prior priorities rank? This is the ranking of this of this uh, I mean this one. This row. Like if it's one, I mean ninety-five, so it's the highest. Second, it's six sixty-five. Where is third? It's fifty-six. Where is four? Fifty-three. Okay, now we get a point. There is a special function that shows the rank of this one. So don't worry, I'm gonna share this um, quality function deployment matrix Excel file with Google Drive. I'm gonna put the link in the video description. You can easily find it. Okay. 
and we have compared our product with uh, co our competitors in the target market now let me just freeze this field now you see I put Taximi as a reference like everything here is zero because we have all of this customer requirements and I took an Yandex, Go, InDriver and Metex as our opponents in the target market and if this particular customer requirement is well covered in our service I put like a zero and if our opponents has more like um, positive like it's better than our service I put plus and if it doesn't have th this kind of a customer requirements or this kind of functions I just put negative if they have same no correlation like zero and I, I've um, taken zeros as one score and z there is just nothing and pluses as one and I calculated the sum of them and at the end of course taxi me one so next we have done with QFD and some research in the market I mean uh, researching about the opponents like what is the index what is in driver my taxi I'm gonna show at the end about them and development process of course I mean design development so you need to generate different versions of UI UX designs and you need to identify whether they match with basic UI UX laws. Use decisions matrix to select most appropriate variant, variant, and generate different user flows and select again the best one. And develop clickable prototype in Figma. So, um, first of all, pay attention to the importance of the functions that you listed in QFD. So in your QFD, like here, I have shown priority. Yeah, like if th this one first one so settings for characteristics is super important okay according to our QFD and the next one is diverse payment options so payment options also so it means that you need to pay more attention to these functions okay uh, and always show the evolution do not strictly go to final result it's the key of this creative engineering design course and its design project so you never just straight go to the final version okay I mean never just start creating Figma file you need to develop it you need to show some evaluation so, so what is evolution uh, not evolution but evolution so what is evolution let me show there it is okay what is evolution here is a human evolution for example initially humans were like this and like this so it's about Darwin's so, okay I don't agree with Darwin but this is evolution so like if we write down evolution of phones here, here it is here's the evolution start from this thing end up with our modern telephones okay like if you just uh, if I say to you what is phone you're gonna uh, think about this kind of device but if 1990s for example they they assume this is a phone okay this is a traditional phone and what it should looks like but right now uh, it, it's changed we can see evaluation uh, evolution of Google for example okay it's more about the anyway it doesn't matter I think now you have idea what's evolution so you need to show the evolution you you need to go to straight um, the final result you need to create more than one version so of your UI UX of um, your product like we did for example this model this one and we need uh, and we've created this one I mean this sketches this sketches this this are okay um, drawn by different people this is also the okay another version and this is the wireframes for driver and other wireframes for driver like and based on decision matrix now I'm gonna show what is decision matrix after a while we have selected the best version so 
in your case also, if you are six in a six members in a group, let four member should create four versions of your product. I mean, design of your product with just pencil and paper like this. He or she need to create this kind of versions, and other two guys need to evaluate these four versions using decision matrix, comparing them with some different versions. Um, they need to choose the best one, I mean the best design, okay? So, did I just save it? Is this a design project? No, I didn't save. So this is a decision matrix, like there should be A, B, C, D, E versions and you need to uh, you need to select them by criteria by some criteria for example like uh, ease of use blah 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 so now can I show mine hold on decision matrix two or three and two if I'm not mistaken Decision make decision matrix and group report. This was our here. Here it is decision decision making selection. So for version one, version two, and version three, you need to have some evaluation criteria for example in our case it was a, a sleeping bag do you know what is sleeping bag I'm gonna show you so this is a sleeping bag so we, we, we tried to create sleeping bag in our project too so now you see we have put attractiveness more functions a portability packability is a uh, easy to use Conservation of temperature and so warm is with additional room for multiple positions and so these are the evaluation criteria of us and we had three versions like version 1 version 2 and version 3 okay version 1 version 2 version 3 then um, we put customer importance rating like more having more functions is super important or consideration of temperature uh, like is it heat or cold so um, it is also high can have a okay, high customer importance rating um, then what we did we, we, we put some numbers here I mean for example which one is more attractive like this is not attractive this is not attractive but it is much more beautiful yeah I think it's much more attractive its design is good I mean so we have put some numbers here and what is this total you're gonna multiply five by one, three by five, four by four, three by three. So see, you're gonna multiply this one, this, this by this, and this by this, and you will take the sums. And now you see the third version, third version has more scores, and we put and we take the third version like after several discussions and selection processes, our team has chosen version 3 conceptual design and selecting process and sketches here in written we have submitted them in paper. So this is the how decision making and selection decision making metrics works. So this is the same decision making metrics with, with this one. I mean with this one. With this one. But it's we put some design here. Now good, now you know what is the decision making matrix and how to use it okay then so let me go here and you will generate the different versions of UI UX models and so you need to you need to take into account the basic UI UX logs for example in our application uh, our app matches with this UI UX logs like Jacob's log we are using familiar patterns in our design like everyone has seen and have idea about what how a taxi booking application really looks like like taxi me uh, my taxi um, or yandex go they share uh, nearly same designs because we are used to these designs this is called a jacob slope 
Feed slow. All need functions are places at the bottom of this screen and average index of difficulty 0, 11. So you, you need to try to put this, I mean, functions are more used functions and buttons at the bottom of the page because uh, it will be easy to use. And hick slow, pick and low, you're gonna, you can read this, all the stuff at the end. I'm gonna put the link. And uh, we got this demonstration. Like, you can also watch this after a while. And the, I don't want to waste my time right now. So, now you see how your product needs to fit with a basic UI UX loads, okay? And uh, based on this uh, selected version, you need to create, click the prototype in uh, Figma. So, as you see, developing a clickable prototype is the last last very last stage so you need not just start directly creating this figma file at first and collect everything you have used to develop this product and prepare presentation and divide speeches so like uh let's see what i put here i put i mean in in our project one you're gonna zip it and submit this with e class and you also take hard copy of this one, this these applications, as supplementary materials. We put user interview, anything we have used, meeting minutes, oh, by by the way, what, what are meeting minutes? I forgot to, to tell about this. F before each meeting, it's team leader's r responsibility to fill these meeting minutes, and you need to print it out, and at the back side of this paper, all of the members who attend the meeting should sign, okay? We have brainstorming, like cover, and we have opponent screenshots, like developer process. We, we, we even, okay, put this kind of sketches, even, even a very small little details. Okay, stupid, even stupid thing, even if it's a stupid thing, you need to bring it, okay, yeah, as a supplementary material. In last year, we got 97 out of 100 with this project with this text to me so it was really good uh, in our presentation and also try to put some weak parts of your product so never try to uh, create something perfect something professional okay you there should be some weaknesses also and you need to uh, add these weaknesses in your presentation and uh, you also introduce some opponents in the target market it will tell the the audience that you have done some research about the current opponents uh, or leaders in this target market okay so I think that's all uh, you are done with this you need to create this kind of beautiful looking uh, presentation at the end I think I said everything uh, and if I did some mistakes please write in comments below if you've catch any mistakes in this video and try to read carefully this design project because it talks a lot about your design project and what to do okay so and the white speeches i think there will be some time limit and follow it and again so good luck on your exams this is Shaul Khrostamov, and i'm gonna thank you for your attention Rahmat